Good morning everybody. So uh, today I thought I'm just going to film a very chilled, relaxed, get ready with me. Um, I've already got my foundation on and just I put some bronzer on and I thought, well, I'm putting on some makeup, might as well just have you guys see what my day-to-day -day routine is. I'm not going to be using any specific products. I'm just going to reach for whatever I feel like I'm wanting today. On my face today, I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I have some Camouflage Catrice um, concealer on. And then just the banana powder of Essence, which I love. I actually tried something else and it was a disaster. I think it was called the... Uh, let me just have a look. The Physician's Formula. It doesn't have a name. It just says Nude Wear Glowing Nude Powder. Such beautiful packaging. I normally use this to set my face. So I thought let me give it a try and do it under my eyes. And it was crunchy AF. It was creasing. It was cakey. It was everything just together. So I had to take everything off and do it again. So mama ain't doing that again. So yeah. Uh, sorry about my hair. I've got all these baby hairs growing out because my hair was so broken. And now I've just got these little aerials standing everywhere. So I'm just going to take some out of my face. And yeah, let's get started. Um, I've got a little Z palette from Inglot that I just put all my singles in that I really like. Um, I'm just going to put on my... I, on my just to set my eyelid a bit um, I'm going to use the cotton candy number no. five this is an uh, essence single pot I love this color it's so pretty so I'm literally just going to set my eye this is a little bit of a shiny color or not shiny but it's got a little bit of a sheen So yeah, let's have a little bit of a chit chat guys. I would really love to know what you guys are thinking about my videos. Are you guys enjoying it? Please be honest. What would you like to see? What any anything would you think my videos are too long or do I talk too much? Anything, please just let me know in the comments. I would love some feedback. Also, anything that you guys would want to see me do. Yeah, I also forgot to mention that, sorry, my nose is a bit runny, the weather is a bit up and down, sunshine, cloudy, rain, all over the place in Cape Town. I also used my Benefit Precisely My Brow to fix my brows today, I forgot to actually mention that. And yeah, so, <clears throat> next what I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this Colourpop Wattles colour, it's like an almost sheeny matte Color. I love this color for the crease. It's so natural. Normally you would just go in with your finger in these. But this, it just blends so well, guys. I really love Colourpop. I really went a little bit overboard. So, I actually wanted to film a video just to swatch all my Super Shock shadows for you guys. So you guys can actually have a look at what I have, what the colour looks like, because I know you can't always tell what the colour looks like online. So yeah. What other new releases are you guys really liking and would see would like to see? I would really love to experiment a bit. I know I'm waiting for my boxy charm. I've been doing or watching some reviews of it and it's not been too positive, but hey, I'm gonna try it anyway. I mean, I don't know what, to, uh, for BoxyCharm, it's so affordable, so people are always gonna complain, because there's always gonna be something that they're not gonna use. I mean, guys, it's, if you go and buy those, any products, even if it's bad, if you go and buy that in the store, you're going to pay so much more for those products. So. I think BoxyCharm is a lovely way of just building your makeup collection in a really affordable way. You never know what you're going to get from it, so it's very exciting. I mean, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I love BoxyCharm, doesn't matter what comes in it. 
I mean, I, th um, I know that it's gotten much better than previously, so I'm not complaining. And now I'm just going to take some of this light brownish shade and just work that into my crease. This one is also from Essence. It's called Number 2 All I Need. I'm literally just going to lightly work that into my crease just to build it up. When I look back on my videos, I always it always looks like I'm going into my eyelids with such a hard, aggressive hand because my eyelid is moving around. But I promise I'm not. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I don't know why it moves. Maybe I just have loose eyes. Loose eyes. So as you guys can see, I'm literally just building that color. I'm really loving that natural glowy look at the moment. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with wattles again and just smoke out the lower line, lash line. Just to give it some color. I really love this color. I was looking on, on uh, YouTube about past uh, color pop super shock shadows. I, sorry that I'm changing I'm changing the subject completely. I saw last night they're coming out with these like jelly, I don't know if it's eyeshadow or what it is. I'm very excited. And also, by the time you guys are watching this, I've probably ordered it already. Um, the Jaclyn Hill Vault is um, launching in stores with so Morphe online. So Mama's getting that for sure. I've been saving because I'm on a no, no makeup buying. A time out, if you want to call it that. Because, yeah, I spend way too much on makeup. So I'm trying to use most of the stuff that I have already. And then stuff that I really, really want. That I, I'll buy. And, I mean, that vault is so affordable. And it's got so many colours. So you can really play around and have fun with colors and if Jacqueline's previous palette's anything to go by yeah it's gonna be good so now I'm just gonna go into that light brown shade again and just do the same just on the lower lash line just smoke it out a bit I really also wanted to buy the Kathleen Light Zodiac Collection, but yeah, as I said, I'm on a no buy. So it's a bit difficult when you have to make serious life choices about what you can buy and what what you have to pass on. So oh, I'm a bit sad, but okay. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go in with a darker color. I'm actually just gonna reach for the Dream Street palette. I'm just gonna use this dark brown. I think it's called, I don't know how these palettes work, uh, but yeah, I'm going to, you just use this dark reddish brown color, I'm just going to pack that in my outer corner a bit, just for some definition. I love Colourpop guys, I don't know why but I'm obsessed, I just don't see the point in spending so much when you can get the same type of quality. So yeah, I mean obviously I do want the expensive stuff but no, you, I'm sure you can get, not all of us have thousands of rands to spend on all the new releases and stuff so yeah. Until we all become rich or earn in dollars, we just have to be happy with the cheapy things. Oh, sorry guys, he dropped, he dropped my um, brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to smoke that corner in a bit. I'll intensify it a bit now, now. and then I'm just going to go in with a shader brushed with that same 
brownish dark color and literally just on the outer corner closest to the lash lower lash line I'm just going to smoke it out a bit Literally just using that on the lower, on the outer corner. Sorry for my face pulling. There's no pretty way to apply makeup. So as you guys can see, I'm just literally intensifying that outer corner a bit. Sniffy sniffles. The weather needs to make up its mind. So yeah. I'm not really that much of a chatty person. I still need to learn. Well, I am chatty. It's just, it's difficult when it's on a camera and it's new and... I mean... I always watch these other YouTubers and they are so comfortable in front of the camera and... That's not me. Okay. So now in my inner corner on the top, on the lid, I'm going to use this moonwalk color, guys. This is beautiful. It's like a... I don't know, it looks gold, but it's like a greenish orange type of um, diochrome color. I mean, if you swatch it, you can see it's so beautiful. So I'm going to put that on my inner corners. Now I'm just using my finger because this is the best way to apply these eyeshadows to get the best out of them. These are so soft guys, it almost feels wet, but it's not, it's like a cream to powder. I almost just want to put on more and more and more and more because it's so beautiful. I can wear this every day. I almost wear green just so I can wear this eyeshadow. Look at that guys, I don't know if you guys can see, but it is so beautiful, like really, oh sorry, do you guys find that when you put on a block out or anything underneath your foundation that your eyes, even though you don't put it close to your eyes, your eyes start to burn, I don't know. Like throughout the day my eyes get teary and it's almost like burning and I, that's the only thing I can think of that it can be is the SPF. So if you guys know of an SPF that doesn't give, give me teary eyes, please let me know because I need it desperately. So I'm just going to literally blend the outer corners a bit and then I'm going to go in with a little brush and just put some of this green on the lower lash line as well. I just, it's so beautiful, I just want to put it on my whole face actually. It's so pretty. Guys, I'm not sure if Colourpop's still having that buy one get one free with the Super Shock shadows. Maybe have a look. They're always having sales. I know that they just had like a 6 million celebration of followers. So go have a look. 
you won't regret it. So yeah, I've done my eyes. So if you guys can see, it's so beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see in the light, but it's got like a deochrome kind of effect going. Okay, so I actually bought this single Rodeo drive from Ofra the other day and I haven't used it yet, so I'm very excited. So I'm gonna put some of that on my inner on my inner corner. You just get a brush. And wet it with some Maybelline Superstay. And I'm going to take Rodeo Drive and I'm just going to pop that in my uh, inner corner. Wow. Okay, that is very gold. But it's beautiful. What do you guys think? Is it nice? I don't have mascara on it. So let me pop on some mascara. What are we going to do today? Let's use some of the Maybelline Smoky Eyes Colossal Volume Express. We'll see if this can save me. I have very straight eyelashes and e. I don't know. Currently I am loving the roller lash because that's actually the only thing that's working for me. So let's try this one. I'm going to just scoot in so you guys can see my struggle is real. It's just like, it's not defining, they're just clumping together. Come on. Don't do this to me. life guys I think I should go and do that whole perming thing where you perm your or whatever they do and your lashes actually curl cool because mine is just so straight they just don't want to move oh, this is just messy can you guys see to take my my roller lash. This brush is the only type of brush that works for my eyelashes. Just to separate them. There we go. That's already looking better. Oh, thank goodness for a benefit roller lash. I need to get the full vision. ASAP. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take that same brush that I just put on my inner corners and I'm just going to literally put a little bit on my... Oh, that's very cool, but it's beautiful on my brow bone. That's so pretty. Going all out today. Everything's just looking so good. You guys have ever have those days where everything just it just comes together okay so I think with this I'm going to let me see what blush I'm going to try this dandelion I've never I haven't used this yet I have this little one that I got in that packet where you can literally try them all so let's try this as our blush today It's a very soft pinkish colour. It's actually very beautiful. Don't know if you guys can actually see, but that is very pretty. For the highlighter, I'm going to use that same 
Rodeo Drive one. So I've not used this yet, so oh my word, wow. That is like wow. Oh my word. Guys, can you actually see? Look at that. Whew. That's got some kick. Some kick. Okay, so, yeah. Just take this ponytail out or this clip. And now we're just going to spray some MAC. I love this MAC. Uh, the rose one. Oh, it smells just like Turkish delight. So nice. Mmm, that smell. Oh, more and more, guys. More and more. <sighs> so good. Okay, so yeah, let me just fix these wonky brows. And yeah, I'm going to put some lips on. What lipstick are we going to do? I think a nude would be nice with his eyes. So let me have a look at what I have here. I'm going to do a dark one. So let's go with a... Okay, let's go with a MAC. Metallic loves a gamble. It's like a nudish color. Let's see if that goes. Not really. Like shocking metallic, but I think I'm just gonna go over it with a gloss. This is the essence one, just to soften it up a bit. Okay, guys. So this is the final look. Do you guys like it? Would you guys like to see more of these get ready with me looks? Um, if you want to, leave it down below. Otherwise, thank you so much for getting ready with me and keeping me company, even though I was doing most of the talking. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Love you.